Good evening, class. Uh, my name is Dr. Araipur, and welcome to your virtual course. Here's the college algebra, and I have sent you several emails slash announcements. Some students have already started with the course. So uh, when you go to the homepage of Canvas, I've set it up so you see them in order and I put the numbers. Number one, you watch this video, which is a welcome message from me. Uh, I'm happy to have you here and I hope uh, everything goes your way. Uh, it was a one minute, two minute long you know, but video. The next one, number two is the class philosophy and course object. So let's see if we can make this happen here. So class philosophy slash course objective slash instructors contact info. Class philosophy. This class is a community and therefore, we all have the same objective, to learn. Online students often feel isolated, but it is vitally important to know you are not in this alone. I would like each of you to approach our online class with a great attitude and a willingness to help one another. Many problems and questions can be resolved by asking a fellow student. I am always here to help you, but I truly believe your experience will be more fruitful if you communicate with your fellow students as well. Let us work together to make this a memorable semester for each and every one of us. Course Objectives The objectives of our college algebra course revolve around offering students a college-level academic experience with emphasis on the use of algebra and functions in problem-solving and modeling. This course covers advanced algebra topics, including linear, quadratic, polynomial, exponential and logarithmic functions, graphs of functions, inverse functions, systems of equations and inequalities, the binomial theorem, and conics. Instructor's contact information. Email me via Canvas or use the email address, ariabmaratlac.edu, and I reply from Monday to Friday within 24 hours. All right, let's go back to the home page. The next one would be the announcements. Uh, you can, by the way, click on the announcements here or on the left navigation bar where it says the announcements. And these announcements become available as the time comes by. For example, we've already seen the recorded orientation, which had one of the old uh, orientations, welcome and orientation, exemption to orientation, and so forth. So, What comes after what? Number four, we have the syllabus, modules, where we can find practice test, PowerPoints, key to the practice test. Homework, again, can be found under the module. Practice test solution. Discussion forum, sample test on solutions, then we're going to take the exams. Now pay attention, this is the office hours, everybody. Office hours. But in order to uh, attend the class, you click on this, on the left navigation bar on the Zoom to attend the meetings. Okay, so again, just to quickly show you, under the Zoom, you find today's meeting and the subsequent ones coming up, going back to the homepage. So that was the synopsis of the page. Now let's explore them one by one. In order to go to syllabus, you may click on that here or click on it here. So let's start. I do have the Excel calendar, which gives you the five week calendar. I just didn't come out right for some reason. I will have to put the right one in. 
But here's the uh, syllabus. For some reason, I think they got mixed up. I'll put the right one in any event. So uh, let's see what we have here. Nowadays, the syllabi are getting uh, longer and longer. So what I've done, I put them in this order that you have various topics. So you can look at the topic of interest, such as uh, student learning outcome, text, calendar, meeting, important dates, so on and so forth. So I'm going to quickly cover them. But remember, they are available and you can go back and check them anytime you want. So. Here's the course. Here's the student learning outcome, course catalog this description. Student learning, learning outcome in short, we analyze graph problems related to the to functions, solve equations, or system of equations. As far as the text is concerned, it's college algebra by OpenStax, which is free. And it's the second edition. I will show you when we go to mom, my open math, your digital homework. For short, I'm going to call it mom. And not only the text is free, also your online assignment done in mom is free. Here's the class calendar. And of course, we meet daily. The instruction, again, as far as how to get to the Zoom is here, or you simply go to the homepage of Canvas on the left column, as I mentioned, you click on the Zoom. And here's the uh, exam dates. Every week we have an exam. So all of them are uh, taken on Saturdays with the exception of the first one, which takes place on Sunday. So the first one happens on Sunday, the rest of them on Saturday. Uh, exam reviews prior uh, weeks basically uh, during the week we are going to cover everything that you need to get ready for the exam um, important dates meetings obviously we meet on a daily basis uh, calculators uh, you need a graphing calculator and you may use a scientific calculator as far as a graphing calculator i'll show you where you can find it online for free there are uh, online calculators available to you on, on a normal basis so tech support uh, for your digital homework my open math as well as your campus tech support they are available here. You can contact them in case of any questions. Pie Shop, also known as MATLAB or uh, tutoring center, if you will, is available. I put the information, I believe I sent you an email and also I put the information in the, in the announcement is coming up and right here, uh, it's uh, free, it's a one unit course. I highly recommend you uh, register for it. And uh, they truly are helpful. More information can be found here uh, online. Probably the most important thing for students would be the grading policy. So, Well, the online homework is worth 300 points. When we go over that, you see it that there is no limit as far as how long it takes you to do it. Uh, or if you uh, finish a part of homework and come back to it. In other words, how many times, it doesn't matter. As long as everything is done, as long as everything is done uh, in a timely fashion, meaning before the due date before the due date.
There are four exams. Each one is worth a hundred points. And the final, which is comprehensive, is worth 300 points. Now, it's important to know, although the final exam is comprehensive, it's pretty simple. It's based on the previous exams mainly, and there's only one module after that, which means one chapter to be covered. In other words, all you have to do, study from the previous exams and the new module, and you'll be fine. Makeup policy, tests, so on and so forth. Basically, there is no makeup exam. You can let me know in advance if anything comes up. Uh, I'll try my best to accommodate you. Uh, the lowest grade before the final may be dropped, okay? As long as the following holds. Number one, the final score must be good. That means at least B or 80%. This is the final exam. Homework has to be at a high grade, 90% or higher. And when I change the lowest grade to the exam grade of the final, the result must give you a better, a higher letter grade. Otherwise, it makes no sense to do so. Uh, if you miss an exam, of course, uh, you receive zero point for it. The course late uh, work policy. I do have some late work policy for the homework and not for the first assignments. You see what that means. It's an introduction assignment to uh, uh, mob and also there is no uh, late pass for exams. However, it's uh, highly recommended that you avoid that because it's a very fast-paced course. You really um, you really don't want to take a chance with that. Then there are more information here. Uh, one of the things that I find that extremely important is to pay attention to what is called CSULB Study 36. So basically what it says, if you are uh, registered in any course, you need three hours per unit or the week to be successful. So for this one, because and three times three makes it nine, but this is a short and fast paced course. You need minimum of 20 hours to do well in a winter session, okay? Uh, dropping policy, um, if you miss the orientation, do not register with the publisher within a uh, maximum of 24 hours, miss the first assignment, or miss any of the exams. Of course, you're here, you should be in good shape. Um, uh, there are other information regarding uh, OSS or DSPS, they call it accommodation, financial aid. Please pay attention that you can find all those help available within the campus and I have the information for you here. There are other uh, helpful resources. Okay, more helpful resources here, as you can see. Everything is here uh, for uh, helping students, such as Office of Special Services, EOPS, Financial Aid, Health and Wellness Center. And uh, also pay attention to LACC CARES Network. Now, summary steps to uh, you know success is as follows. You can study the PowerPoints under the module. We will look at that. Do your homework before the deadline. Uh, take a look at this one. Under the module link, okay, you can 
watch the video lectures or watch the video lectures within each homework. Study the practice test. You don't have to post the question in the discussion forum for winter. Send the question via Canvas. Attend the review session meeting. Just make sure you watch the recording or be available while I do the recording and take the exam by the due date. The consultation or office hours, if you will, uh, some of you were already there. You can find it on the home page of the canvas towards the end, which is Monday through Thursday, right before the class from 5.30 to 6. Now, I'm not going to go uh, over the uh, netiquette for online learning. I think it's pretty obvious because it's pretty lengthy, but just in short, we want to be courteous towards uh, others, uh, our fellow students. And it is extremely important uh, to show uh, courtesy and be nice to one another. And also, as a, a student of a college, we should use proper spelling and grammar grammar and as always positive tone. By the way, speaking of correct spelling and grammar, whenever you email me, please make sure you put in the subject your information, meaning the course that you're registered in at the end of the uh, email, put your full name as it appears uh, in the role sheet. Uh, there are others uh, you know, that you can look at as far as the uh, netiquette if, if it's concerned. And finally, we finish it up with the syllabus addendum. It tells us that it's worth, again, it emphasizes that it's a three-unit course and it uh, is transferable and so on and so on. Uh, I want to go back, actually, to the page, uh, the home page, so we covered the syllabus, and as I mentioned, it is always available to you to go back to that. So what comes next is the modules. If you click on it here or on the left navigation bar, as I mentioned, it takes you to modules. So first I want to show you what you can find underneath, and then we uh, discover them uh, one by one. First and foremost, this is where you find my open math for short more and the information for that. The next one is the recorded practice test. Then we have various modules. I've called them exam one, two, three, four module. And uh, module five is part of the final exam. And at the end, we have the calculator information. So let's take it from the top and start with this. Again, some students have already started it. Uh, to do your digital homework, you visit the site myopenmath.com. It will ask you to register if you don't have an account. And the course ID and enrollment key are needed. So this is the information. Okay, everyone. I'm going to go back to the modules. So that was the first one. What's next? Recorded practice test lectures. So what we have here. We have the recorded recorded lectures practice test as well as well as the lectures i will quickly show you here's my youtube channel we have the prerequisites module one two three we have all the recordings for you as far as exam review also known as practice test is concerned what else you can find if you 
go back a little bit towards the so towards the middle of the page it says lectures here okay and of course there are some uh you know uh, older uh, recordings you don't have to worry about that uh, so college algebra lectures if you go down you can find the video lecture you have to go out and find them okay for example here okay and so on and so forth you find the video lectures per section okay so going back to okay let me just close this going back to this page uh However, as I mentioned, many students just watch the uh, you know videos available on Mob or my open mat. I'll show you in a moment. That's why before that I put this instruction on taking exam in my open uh, mat. I'm not going to go over that for now, but when it comes to take the exam, first of all, I have it under the announcements that it'll be sent to you. Secondly, you want to watch that because it's important to maximize uh, you know your grade by following the instruction here. So going back to the modules. Now, first I want you to know that all modules are practically the same. So when I cover one of them, it's as though I've covered all of it. And then I look at the last one for the calculator. So let's look at module one because the exam one module is what matters for now. Notice what I have in the beginning. First, I have the practice test for you. Uh, you can either uh, print that or just download it on your uh, computer and make sure you work on it. Before you uh, really delve into the course, I highly recommend you take a couple of minutes. It doesn't take more than maybe three to five minutes of your time. Read, and this is the synopsis of what you need to know to do well with the first exam. Very simple, okay? Just read. So these are the stuff that are coming our way for now. What comes next? So we have the practice test first. Next, I have the PowerPoints per section. Now, if you click on it, you can download it and put them in slide mode. So when you come across an example, for example, example one, instead of seeing the whole page, you just see the question. You try to answer it. And if you don't, if you just click the arrow down, it goes over the example step by step instead of showing you the whole page. And that's the idea. That's why I said you can download it, download it and watch it that way. So going back under the modules. So we had under exam one module, the practice test the PowerPoints, and then what comes last? We also have the key for the practice test. Please don't look at the key until you do the work and then check, make sure you, you have the correct answer, okay? And why is it important that you do this? Because you want to get ready to do well on your exam. So again, we have the recordings, we have the practice test, we have the PowerPoints, we have the key to the practice test, going back to the modules. And every module is the same. So for example, if you go to exam two, you see it in the same manner. It starts with the practice test, then we have the chapters. It happened to be two chapters now, and then the key. So 
they're all the same. Here's the last one, which is the information about the graphing calculator. And speaking of the graphing calculator class, speaking of the graphing calculator, you can find uh, the website that I have on this page, and you may be able to download the emulator, which looks like this. Again, uh, I don't guarantee that you'll be able to, you know, download that. But uh, you can try it. Sometimes it doesn't work. But um, uh, when it does, it just gives you a, a free calculator. Also, there are other calculators online, such as this calculator that you see here or the Desmos calculator. Okay. So there are many, many calculators online for free. Uh, I don't believe you should pay a penny for anything, uh, including the calculator so going back to the modules first we have my open math then we have the recorded practice test then we have each module which contains the practice test powerpoints and the key to the practice test and the very last one is a ti calculator i'm going to go back to the home page and now we basically covered everything here. The thing that is left on the left navigation bar, I want to look at the discussions. And what I have put for you here is the student bios. Uh, if you uh, like to put your information, and I put mine as an example, all you have to do, reply and put yours, and the others can read your information if anybody wants to reply to a student make sure you reply to me okay all of you okay but if you want to uh, you know uh, talk to a student about their bio and, and encourage them in what they do please do so always uh, with a positive note absolutely that's that's highly recommend if you don't have anything positive to say please don't say. And the next one is FAQ, frequently asked questions. Sometimes questions come up. I highly recommend you uh, read this before you ask any questions. So there are some general questions. For example, how do I use the math editor? It's explained here. The other one is the course ID. Now, I want to explain that we used to have my open math uh, uploaded into canvas there has been some issues and as you know now we have the course id and the enrollment key and it's explains here so uh, i actually have to change that okay so let me actually change it right here it's important to know that you need Okay, um, all right, so uh, let me just So uh, you can follow the instruction and register. So it's important to know. So there are other questions uh, answered here, such as uh, tech support. I got to fix some of this stuff here for the tech support, but uh, how to use a late pass, how to check your uh, homework, 
uh, where to find exam pass. But this is extremely important because I receive that almost every semester. Uh, pass, uh, every exam is passport protected. I will send it to you in advance. And you can also find it under the announcements. Of course, the announcements will be sent to, to you in a timely manner. So not all of these are available to you now, but you will find it with the title exam and its number. So it's exam one, two, one, two, three. It will be sent to you and you can find it under the announcements. Uh, I'm gonna go back to the homepage. And so basically we covered everything that we need to cover here. The next thing that I wanna cover is go to uh, my open math. So what you do again, under the modules, you have the information to register with my open bat. When you do that, this would be my open bat or mom. So what do we find here? Number one, I have the introduction to my open bat here. Then exams, information that is about description of the course, calendar, and then the modules start, module zero through five. So let's quickly discover them. Starting with this, I want you to, I put this at the very top. This is the very first assignment and uh, it's due by tomorrow. In fact, I want everybody to do it tonight. It doesn't take long. I want to show you quickly what that is. It is information about my open mat and how it's used, okay? So for example, over here it says, enter this number. So if I click on that, the math editor shows up. I can, if I need a fraction or anything like that, I don't know, I just put the number 78.0955. Okay, that's all. This one, I want to round it to the nearest hundreds. Okay, so that means this number. Next to it is five, and it goes up, becomes 10. So 78.1. Or one zero. Did I put a comma there? Yeah. Point. And we are dividing by zero. Uh, we can't divide by zero. It's only five. Uh, when you click on this, you don't see undefined. It does have DNE stands for uh, does not exist. And then you can submit the question and notice the check mark means that we've done it right. Now, we, we've done it right. And so if we look at uh, the next question, by the way, I can get a similar question. If I get a similar question, I can redo this the type of question again and again and again until I'm very comfortable with that. However, the purpose of that in case uh, I get something wrong and I want to redo it. For example, what is the answer to one third? Uh, if you want to convert it to a decimal, the answer is 0 0.3 bar, but let's say 0 0.5. I'm just making up a wrong answer, okay? And if I submit the question, notice what happens. It says it's wrong, obviously. So what do I do? Do I move on? No. If I get a similar question and it happened to give me the same answer, okay, uh, then I can answer it properly. It says enter by the way, four or more decimal places. Let's see if we go zero point. Let's just accept that. And that's right. So what happened, I made a mistake in the first attempt, but the second attempt was correct. And it only puts the uh, correct attempt if you have a correct attempt. Now something comes up. 
and it happens uh, all over the map, any of the homework that you do. Something comes up and I can't finish the job. If I click on done, it registers my grade up to now. And then whenever I resume, I can continue with the questions I haven't done. So I can resume or I can exit. Of course, I'm going to exit at this point. But my point being is that you can always go back and do the homework and finish it. So it doesn't have to be done in one setting. All right, so we have the course description again here, uh, just what we cover. Now, for most sections, we have video assignments, okay? These assignments contain video lessons. After each video, there is one or two questions that correspond with the examples in the video, and then we have to practice homework. This is how you do your homework. But what comes before that is interesting. Number one, I want you to know that this is the information about the course, as far as the leisure, the assignment, practice, homework, and, and the how they look like. Then we have this uh, calendar this number four represents four weeks you can make it shorter or you can make it longer please understand see this is red because the first homework ia the uh, introduction uh, assignment is due right away i want you to look at the exam one and write before exam one all homework are due on saturday please understand if you want to be successful, you have to do the homework on a daily basis. If you wait until Saturday, you're way behind. And then look at exam two and the day before exam two, all homework that pertain to exam two or module two are due. Okay. Now you can find the exams your homework right here. If you click on it, come up just as what I did here. This one came up. I can, you know, start with that. Okay. Or you look at the modules. I'm going to go over module zero even before I open it up. See, it says resources such as text, gradebook, calendar, so on and so forth. These are all resources. Just make sure you know where to find them. You may not need this. For example, here's your text. Uh, if you need to study anything we have the text here which is free for you and uh, if you click on a section it opens the it's the chapter opens the sections of interest so this is where you find the text as i mentioned there are also cal uh, you know uh, calculators here this is a graphic calculator online for free This is a scientific calculator online for free. Okay. So again, if you go back to module zero resources. Okay. Now, late pass, how to use a late pass calendar, my open math. And again, I highly recommend you do not use the late pass because it's a very fast paced course. It shows you how to check your work and everything else. Now, again, uh, as far as the free online calculators, not only I have those here again, also there are videos explaining how to use them. Okay. And the next thing, you see modules one, two, three, four, five. I'm going to show you module one. So what comes underneath module one? Module one has the chapter. Let me just first close the chapter. So it, it shows you there's chapter two. If you click on chapter two, you see various sections. Okay. So uh, in fact, let me, you know, so so in fact, let me just close this one. So you see various sections up there uh, under chapter two, 2.1 all the way to 2.7. If I open 2.1, first it gives you the objectives. Then if you want to do the reading, it will take you back to the book that I showed you. Okay. And then there are some videos here. I want you to pay attention to videos that uh, are here. Uh, if you watch these videos, none of them is uh, long. 
you may not even have to look at the uh, PowerPoints. So the video lessons have everything you need and none of it is long. Not only that, look at the very first assignment. The assignment starts with the video assignment and then practice assignment. So this video assignment, what do you find there? It starts, it starts with a video you can watch. It's a short one. And then the question, plot the points. Next one, there is a video, answer some questions. There is a video, answer some questions. It is extremely straightforward. Okay, everyone, I want to go back to the top. So you watch this video. And to answer this, for example, zero watt. Minus five. So everybody knows that. I I, I think three minus five. One. Minus five. So did I miss a zero one minus five zero three negative five and one? Okay, and submit the question. And we got it right. And if we didn't, all we have to do get a similar question. Again. I'm going to click done, which says, okay, I did one question only, and I have it right, and others are unattempted, I need to do it. I have a choice of resuming or exiting. Remember, the grade is already registered for me. So I'm going to exit. I'm going to show you what comes next, and that is right after, just actually, the module zero. So right after the video assignment, 2.1, we have the practice assignment. So we have watched the video assignment and now we have the practice assignment and the same thing happens. And in some cases, so we are, as you can see, this is a very similar question to what we did. And in some cases, we also have those videos here, like question one, question two has it, and question three, four, five. So far, all of them have the videos. Yet some questions don't have videos in this case because we've already for example number 10 doesn't have a video okay so i hope everybody is clear as to what happens here so what i want to do uh, i want to recap everything and i'm going to go back to the home page on the home page of your canvas, you see the numbers first welcoming you to the course, then the philosophy of the course, the announcements. Again, all of this, you can find them on the left navigation bar. Information as far as the syllabus is concerned and just about everything can be found under the modules. And here's the office hours. Finally, if you want to, this is the office hours finally if you want to attend the class the zoom meeting on the left navigation bar right here okay so under the modules you can find information about mob in order for you to register you need this information course id as well as enrollment key 
The next one is the recorded practice test. The next one starts with the exam one module, which has the practice test, PowerPoints, key to the practice test, and the rest of them repeat in the same manner. And finally, the information about the TI calculator. So when you go to mom or my open math, the very first thing must be done is the mandatory assignment to uh, my open math. Then we have the course description. We have the calendar. Module zero is about resources, class, resources. We have tons and tons of resources like textbook, grade book, calendar, late pass, online calculators, you name it. Then you start with the first module and when you click on the first module, it gives you the chapter. If you click on the first section, it gives you the objectives, the reading material, the videos. And again, I want to emphasize this. The videos that you find here, everybody, they may be good enough. You don't have to go anywhere. Just right away start with that instead of watching the PowerPoints. And then we have the video assignment. Make sure you do that before you do the practice assignment all right okay happy studying everybody